Here at the University of Maryland Medical Center, we have the capability to diagnose and treat all forms of thoracic outlet syndrome. And we have a particular interest and specialization in this rare and often misdiagnosed condition. Many of our patients come to us having been sent to multiple doctors and specialists and multiple rounds of physical therapy and other treatments with little to no relief. And we've been fortunate enough to be able to provide some of them with a simple operation where we remove a portion of the first rib through a small incision and have returned folks back to work and back to a normal life. Thoracic outlet syndrome occurs when the arteries vein and nerves to the arm are compressed between the clavicle and the first rib, which is underneath. It often occurs in folks that do a lot of upper extremity exercise, so swimmers, weightlifters, and people in occupations where there's a lot of upper body works. It can have different manifestations depending on which of those three structures are compressed. The most common form in about 90% of patients is neurogenic or nerve compression and that presents with difficulty using your arm when you elevate it. So folks will report difficulty combing their hair. People that have overhead activities, people who stock things or electricians will have difficulty doing their job. There can be pain, numbness, heaviness of the arm, tingling. Those are the symptoms of nerve compression and it can lead in some cases to complete disability or inability to use the arm. The two less common forms of the disorder are compression of the artery, which can cause problems with circulation in the arm, and compression of the vein, which unfortunately usually presents with a blood clot in the arm. And many of these patients in whom the diagnosis is not considered will simply be treated for their blood clot and will never have the underlying problem correctly diagnosed and treated. We can fix the condition through a meticulous but small operation which involves an incision above the clavicle through which we remove a portion of the first rib and completely decompress the artery, vein, and nerves. If the artery and vein are damaged to the point where they need to be repaired, we have the capability as board certified vascular surgeons to repair or replace them as needed. But that is usually not necessary once the compression has been relieved. Patients with thoracic outlet syndrome are often misdiagnosed and spend months to years being treated in ways that often are not successful and that's because they're told that they may have cervical spine disease. Many have operations done for cervical spine disease that don't provide any relief, and they're often diagnosed with problems of the nerves, such as carpal tunnel syndrome or other problems in the upper extremity. Because people don't think of thoracic outlet syndrome, the diagnosis is delayed. We have here at the University of Maryland Medical Center a multidisciplinary team with physicians from thoracic surgery, vascular surgery, and the Department of Orthopedics who have a particular interest in correctly diagnosing and treating these patients.